Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I wanted to ask, why aren't people creating their own worlds? I've been watching people working in the Warcraft universe, and these are fans. These people are not getting paid to work in this universe for uh, 20 years, <laughs> I guess at this point, uh, possibly more. Um, and it's kind of bothering me that, like, I know that uh, anyone who's creating stuff for Warcraft has in their heart a creative spirit and their own world and their own stories that they want to tell. And it frustrates me to see them devote all this time and energy into building something that can never be theirs. Because you don't own the Warcraft IP, you will never own the Warcraft IP. The Warcraft IP will not go into the public domain within your lifetime, more than likely. <laughs> so you're putting all this effort and energy into this world that can never be yours. And this is something that I think others have come to the realization of, like uh, Sam Didier, the famous artist. <laughs> And a friend who devoted a lot of his life to to making Warcraft a reality, to defining its style. Uh, you know, he's one artist among several, but probably the main influence, I think it would be fair to say, for Warcraft. And he recently came to the realization that Warcraft wasn't his. Like, he would never own anything in Warcraft. He will always have the legacy of Warcraft but he will never benefit from, from that again. Not that he didn't make money, he did. Uh, and he probably more than most given uh, where he was in the tier and, and how early he came into the company. But <clears throat> he wanted something that was his, that he could do whatever he wants within. And uh, yeah, it's just scary to me how many people are putting so much time and effort into things that are not theirs, that they cannot, like, let's say that you create something in the Warcraft engine, like the odds that you will then be able to spin that off into something like League of Legends, like, it's difficult. But I guess at that point you could create your own IP and make it happen. At what point do you just drop all that and create your own IP? like? What would it take to convince you to stop making things for Warcraft and to start writing your own world and creating your own characters and things like that? Like you could even you do like a D and D setting, and then just make your own world and everything on top of that, and use it for tabletop RPGs or or whatever. But at least then it's yours. That's your world. Those are your creations. You don't have to question anything like would Thrall do this? It's your characters. They would do whatever your characters would do. You still have to adhere to good rules of writing and storytelling and characterization and things like that. But at least you're starting from the things that you want to build. And if there's ever a question, it's not like, do you have to look it up and like figure out where it came from or, or whatever? It came from you, so you can define what that character would do in that situation. You can define what that city state is like. And isn't that the fun of creation? Like, isn't that the point of all this? To create your own worlds? That's, that's always where I've come at it from. And I'm just curious why more people don't try to create their own worlds or Maybe they do, and, and they're just hiding it in a back room, or they're afraid to share it with the world. I think that would be my biggest thing, is that people are afraid to share their creations with the world, fearing mockery, or, or whatever the case may be. Don't embrace it. Embrace mockery. If someone makes fun of your world, that's okay. It's something you can learn from and change if you need to, but maybe it works, and they just don't like that particular thing. Like, that's up to you to decide. Um, but until you share your stuff, <laughs> what what is it doing? It's is it comfort to you? Maybe, maybe it's a, your comfort zone, and you you keep it there to build your own world in the in the background. But at some point, consider 
sharing it. And especially if you're working on other IPs, other people's IPs, like Warcraft, consider just taking the time out and going, what kind of world would I create if I were starting from scratch? Would you just recreate a Warcraft world or were there flaws in it? There were flaws in it. There's lots of flaws in Warcraft. What would you do with it? Starting from whatever your base is. And I have plenty of videos about how to create your own worlds and IPs and things like that. So <clears throat> maybe check those out. But let me know in the comments below, why aren't you creating your own IPs? If you are creating your own IPs, why aren't you sharing them with the world? And if you are sharing them with, with the world, what's, what's preventing, what do you think is preventing it from moving forward? And do you need my help? I'm happy to help. All right. Thanks everyone. If I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.